All y'all bone, all you boneheads and knuckleheads need to just go ahead and get it out of your system right now because I know it's coming. I know it's coming. It, 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 here we come with the, with the 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 geeks and whatever y'all identity politic keyboard warriors. Here we go. Here we go. You're only doing it because you're trying to appease the Black Lives Matter and the dead and the and then here it comes all the conspiracies and stuff about how uh, now it's like, no, uh, she didn't quit. They fired her because they wanted to just do this from the get go. And now they have a perfect opportunity to try, try to pull some Joe Biden stuff with the VP pick. And here, it's going to here it comes. Here it comes. I'm looking at see. Thank you, Amy. Amy sent me a uh, text. And, and, and uh, first, the second I saw it, I was like, here we go. Here we go, because it's a black girl. Here we go. You're just trying to be... I don't like that. I don't like that. They're just trying to make history. I don't like that. Do you like that? You don't like that? I don't like that. That's all you're going to hear. That's all you're going to hear from people. I don't like that. I don't like that. Brie Larson. That's all you're going to hear. Batwoman finds its, uh, its new Batwoman. That's a stupid title of, a, of an article. Batwoman finds its new Batwoman in Javicia Leslie. Javicia Leslie, uh, meet your new Batwoman. E.W. Uh, has learned that God friended me. Javicia Leslie has been cast as the Crimson Knight on the CW's Batwoman, the first black actress to play the DC comic heroine in live action. Leslie stepping into the void left by Ruby Rose, who portrayed Batwoman Kate Kane, and exited the series at the end of season one. Now, I said that you can just recast the girl uh, and just, just keep moving forward. Just recast. You, you, why do you have to replace? Is it because you're going... I mean, if you do it the way they did it on, on Arrow, because everybody was hating on, uh, Can on Black uh, Canary and all that, and then they, then they tried to get some new canaries in. I like the sister better. I don't like her. She's too stiff. She doesn't know. Her. And then when they turned her into a bad guy and then an anti-hero, then all of a sudden she was she proved she just needed some work. But nobody was trying to be patient. Y'all ran her out and y'all trolled her and, and called her all kinds of names. Now you did the same thing Ruby Rose. She can't act. She did. She did. And she let me. But that's about it. That's all she brings to the table. And all y'all said the same crap. And then she's gone. And then, but it never made sense that they were going to keep the character alive, I guess. Maybe she's going to disappear like maybe Batman did or something. And then somebody else is just going to be like, hey, about 10,000 people know the secret, but let's give it to somebody new. Is she going to play, is she going to be uh, Fox's little sister or something? That's the only guy. Let's shrink the universe and make sure we get we can we ex we explode the, the secret identity of Kane. But we gotta keep it in the family. We gotta find a way to keep it in the family. That's probably what they're gonna do. They're gonna make her his, her little sister or some crap that they never mentioned before. Maybe, maybe. And tell me in in the box below, has there ever been a black Batwoman? Has I think there's been more than one person besides Kate Kane to play to be Batwoman, but has it ever been a black person in the comic book? Because I'm not familiar. I'm extremely uh, I'm extremely proud to be the first black actress to the fact that. Now she can't. Now look, look. She can't even say that out loud anymore. Now without people gonna be jumping down the throat. Why you gotta be all so proud about being black? Everything gonna be black, 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 black. Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. Everybody gonna be saying the same thing. Like you can't. She can't even be. She can't even have this moment now. Now, now you're gonna have a bunch of people trying to jump down uh, and, and and take it away from her. But congratulations. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it like that. You here? Read your statement. <clears throat> I'm extremely proud to be the first black actress to play the iconic role of Batwoman on television. As a bisexual woman, they, they, they're keeping it with the other. It seems like you have to, you have to, they're trying to check a box because they didn't want, they don't want to hear that. See, why do y'all always get straight people to play gay people? Why don't you, why do you always get straight people to play trans people? Why do you always, why can't you just hire uh, 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 this uh, Annette? I mean, it's kind of hard to put that on the on the uh, bulletin board we need a gay woman or bisexual or a trans person to do then all of a sudden the people that are straight i'm like what what like 
I mean, it's it's tricky now. Maybe not nowadays. You can you can get away with. It. Maybe you can get away with it more nowadays. But it seems like a fair. I'm a realtor, so I'm gonna say fair, like a fair housing kind of situation where it's like a discrimination thing. Only whites apply. Well, if the role is for a white man, I mean, yeah, okay, I can I understand that. But uh, it kind of it kind of has a. I feel like there's gonna be another thing people are gonna complain about. Why is this a uh, whites only uh, restroom? <laughs> you know, I feel like they're gonna try to find a way to take it away from. Them. Uh, I am honored to join this groundbreaking show. It's a good, it, I like the show. I like, I like, uh, um, uh, what's her name? The sister, the crazy sister. I like her. She should have replaced. They should have just made her an identical twin. The second I heard that as a suggestion, I was like, I felt like from coming to America, the dude in the barbershop. Ah. Ah, uh, that was it. The second I heard that suggestion, I was like, that's what they do. That's what they do. Don't recast. Get her. She should do it. Uh, the twin sister. Make her an identical twin. But, I mean, I'm just a brilliant. Uh, nobody going to listen to me. The groundbreaking show, which has been such a trailblazer for the LGBT community, um, Leslie said in a statement, uh, as EW previously reported, the new Batwoman's civilian alter ego is named Ryan Wilder. Ryan Wilder as is the complete opposite of Rose's cape. Here's the official character description. Ryan Rowder is about to become Batwoman. She's likable, messy. So you're trying to say Kate wasn't likable? Oh, actually, Kate wasn't. What are you trying to say? Ruby Rose isn't likable? Uh, she's likable, messy, a little goofy, and untamed. She's also nothing like Kate Kane. What the hell are you trying to say? I mean, because Batwoman is Kate Kane. So like, are you trying to say that Ruby Rose wasn't these things? I mean... When she, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, when Ruby Rose is in the right cast, uh, right role, she's on point. Like John Wick, come on, you know she was the, she was the man. Uh, but like when this girl, I mean, when she was trying to, uh, to say a pun, it wasn't really all that funny. I mean, it was like it was like a struggle. I was like, uh, uh, all right, uh, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> but then she quit, and I'm like, okay, maybe we won't. Uh, Ryan Wilder is about to become Batwoman. She's likable, messy, a little goofy. Uh, K. Kane, the woman who wore the bat suit before her. With no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spends years as a drug runner, dodging the GCPD and, and masking her pain with bad habits. Ooh, chilly. Today, Ryan lives in her van with her plan. This is going to spoil the whole damn thing, huh? Before the show even starts. Like, guess what? I bet this, this better be in the comic book, but I guess, I don't know. For a person who doesn't read the comic, but people who don't read the comic books and just want to watch the show for the show, you're going to be spoiling everything. It's a spoiler alert. And like, damn, the show hasn't even started yet. Damn, COVID. Um, a girl who would steal milk for an for an alley cat and could also, why don't you just make a cat woman in? Uh, also kill you with her bare hands. She, she cuddles the cats and she kills the kills the people. What for what? Ryan is the most dangerous type of fighter, highly skilled and wildly, wildly uh, undisciplined, and out an out lesbian, athletic, raw, passionate, fallible, and very much not your stereotypical all American hero. Okay, so we're gonna put an anti hero kind of person into the role. Until she becomes a heart of gold. As of right now, it appears that as though Ryan is an original character and doesn't have any analog in the comic. Ooh, you trying to you you trying to Harley Quinn this shit, huh? Ah, ah, see. Now all y'all identity politics warriors, y'all can't complain about it. Why do you have to cut that one? Well, they gonna still complain about that. Why can't you just a brand new character for brand new person who's kind of something else? Well, they did. It's not Kate Kane. It's not anybody who's ever worn the bathroom before. They invented a whole new. But why do you have to put her in the Batwoman suit then? Yeah, just get it. See, that's what they're gonna complain about. You have a whole brand. You always say just make up a brand new character, but because you made up a brand new character and put her inside that Batwoman suit. You still gonna claim identity politics? It's always the people who always use an identity politics when they arguments who are always complaining about identity politics. You were the ones bringing it up. Why is she have to force you down there too? Why is she gonna force your blackness down my throat? I'm gonna go have some pancakes. Protest, man. It's just let's. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm getting ahead of all y'all people who are going to try to do it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, then watch it. I 
literally, I'm gonna do it. We got your mail later on, and I literally got a a comment from a person talking about how uh, Laura Bailey deserved what she got with the threats because she was associated with a game that nobody asked for, and and, and, the, and the character did something that we don't like. Not the writer, not the director, not the producer. A person who did a job. Person who did a job, and she deserved it. I mean. I'm just getting ahead of all you guys. All you guys gonna probably come in with you. You just trying to be on this, you man. I'm trying to be being pushed down our throat. Nobody forcing it on you, son. Y'all all claim that y'all not watching it anyway. Y'all stop watching it after episode two. Then don't watch it. Don't watch it. And watch. The ninety percent of y'all gonna be like, I need something to eat. The anger rises. I can feel the disturbance in the force. Execute order sixty six. Lord Vader, she's black. <laughs> I mean, y'all gonna do it? Y'all gonna do it? Twitter, 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 Twitter. Uh, that's that's all y'all gonna do. So I'm getting ahead of y'all. Y'all gonna do? Just don't watch the show. Just don't watch it. Nobody forcing you to watch it. You somebody set me down and pop my popcorn and turn my TV to the CW and I gotta watch this, man. I don't like that. So we already know you're gonna do it. So just y'all just go ahead and do it. Let's get let's hear it. Let's hear it. Put it in the box below. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Are you are you one of the ones that's like, I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to it. It's like, man, hmm, she real kind of cute, man. I think I got a shot. You ain't got a shot. None of y'all got a shot. But uh, or do you think, man, I don't like it. I don't like anything. If it's not what I like, it's not good. Are you one of those guys? Let's put it in the box below. Let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I guess let's just keep talking about it. And then, uh, if you comment below, we'll talk about it on well. Uh, we got you now. Let's let the game begin, guys. Till next time. Peace. So unbelievably funny. Like one of those people, you just. Obviously, he's hilarious, but you. you... I feel like he's been in so much good stuff and like growing up on Seinfeld, you kind of take for granted just how funny is he is. And to sort of be the standout funny on, you know, one of the funniest sitcoms of all time.